Hey guys. Hello there, little lady. How you doing? I hope you're good. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions, and you are watching Tech Tuesday. This week we've got a quarantine care package, more Disney CMS to open, and a custom Darth Maul figure that I really want to show you. But first, as always, let's start with the news. This is Tech News. Some of the LEGO Star Wars April Wave sets have started to appear in shelves this week in America. Set number 75287, DO, is out and has already been reviewed by JB Brick Fanatic and MR Productions. I'm still undecided on whether I'll pick this one up. If it goes 25-30% off, I probably will. I would have preferred DO scale to the R2-D2 and BB-8 builds instead of being life-size. As well as DO, the helmet busts have also been released. 75274 TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet, 75276 Stormtrooper Helmet, and 75277 Boba Fett Helmet, all retail for £54.99 or $59.99 US dollars. When these initial images got released, I didn't really take to them. However, Boba Fett and the TIE Fighter Pilot have really grown on me. But I kind of feel if you buy two, then you've got to buy all three. They just might be my May 4th purchases. We shall see. The next UCS set has finally been revealed. Set number 74275 A-Wing Starfighter will be released on May 1st. The set comes with an ever so slightly different A-Wing pilot minifigure to the one that's currently on shelves with the playset model. I have to say the box art looks sexy, but that's about it. Although I can appreciate it as an accurate representation of an A-Wing, I'm just not a fan of the ship, so I won't be buying This week's Mail Monday, we've got two packages here, quite substantial in comparison to the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, let's get them open. So, first up, we have some more Series 2 Disney Eclectic figures. Those actually should be nine in there, so I'll carry on with opening them at the end of the week and then a sneak preview as to what the next series that I will be collecting is. So, we've got five of the Deutschland Fußball Bond figures. Um, I'm a really big football fan, so I thought it'd be cool to get these. I know a lot of the players, a lot of them have played in England, so I'm aware of them. So, this will be the next minifigure series I'll be collecting on CMA Friday. So, now for the big package, I actually ordered this a couple of weeks ago. That it's come from Russia. Um, I ordered it to help me relieve some quarantine boredom. Thumbs off my brand new knife. No YouTuber is complete without a knife. Okay, so first up, we've got a Troy Gunship Foil Pack, which I think is a freebie because I didn't order this. I'm pretty sure. If we have, then something's gone horribly wrong, but I hope that's a freebie. Three things I definitely did order. Three Clone Trooper Lieutenants. So in this pack here, they said it was used, but it looks like most of the pieces are in here, um, in their bag, so they must have just parted out for minifigures, but in this one is the 2019 Droid Gunship. And I also got two more of them. Two more of them sealed in the box because I really like that set. I really like the Kashi Battle Droids in there. And I never got any of the Droid Gunships in the past, so three of them, which is good. Now, in here is the Republic Frigate from 2011, I think. Um, I don't think they'd send it ish built, but <laughs> yeah, that's what's in there. That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it apart and then speed build that on Sunday. So that's that. In this package here, my 2010 clone turbo tank, so that'll be my third one. That come used um, without any figures, so. I got a really good deal on it, so I'm really happy with that. 
I said I have three of them now. And then in here we have some figures. So open these up. So first up we have a Poggle the Letter minifigure. The head's a bit loose, which is a bit annoying. I think it's because it's a rubber head and the wings don't quite fit on there. It doesn't quite push down, but I'm sure I can sort that out. I've never had that minifigure before, so I'm glad to get that. The Republic Frigate come with its figures. So I've got Wolfpack Trooper, Commander Wolf, Quinlan Voss, um, Ethkoff is that, I think, and Yoda. So that's cool. The seller was also selling another Wolfpack Trooper, so I've got two of them now, which is really cool because these figures are really quite rare. And I also bought two Rocket Battle Droids because they were going cheap. So yeah, that's my epic Mel Monday haul. So I just started rewatching the Bad Batch episodes and I realised it's five o'clock, so the uh, Tech Tuesday's just gone up. I've got to shoot this actually because this is just absolutely crazy. I watched this video last night. Look at that. That is absolutely mad. I want to make that one day. 100% want to make that. I love that ship so much. I can't wait to get the playset shuttle, but oh mate, just look at that. Look how clean that looks. So nice. Yeah, one day. One day I'll make that. I'm up doing some late night Bricklink shopping. Um, I've just done nine different orders that's cost me an absolute bomb for a range of different Star Wars minifigures. So there'll be plenty of content for Mail Monday in the next few weeks, so look forward to that. Did someone say new Lego Star Wars set? Honestly, not a fan. So with the Siege of Mandalore episodes coming up this week, I decided to go back and watch all the Darth Maul episodes of The Clone Wars. And I just absolutely love Maul when he's just driven insane and he's got those like mechanical spider legs and stuff. So I was really, really inspired to try and make him in minifigure form. So I've got a couple of prototypes I want to show you guys. This one's with the Super Battle Droid rocket arms as the feet there. Um, I think they look quite good. It's something a little bit different. So for the second design of the legs, I've doubled up on the mechanical arms. And then I've added the claw or the horn piece at the bottom. Um, I think I prefer that only because when I looked at the pictures, um, he's got very, very pointed ends to his his legs. So I think I prefer that. Um, something I'm not going to work on right now, but I just need to get that kind of bulge at the back of him. Um, I'll turn him around a little bit just so you can see what's at the back. But yeah, I need to work on like here, getting that sort of bulge that he has. So yeah, it's just something that I was working on. Um, I thought I'd show you guys. It's pretty cool, I thought. So we are back with the next segment of CMF Friday. We are continuing with the Disney Series 2. Let's hope that we don't get as many doubles as we did last week. I don't think this one feels too good. I think we've already got this one. So, not the best of starts because we already got Elsa last week, but hey ho, she's a cool figure, and when I get the Disney castle, I'm sure I can do something fun with that, so that's not the end of the world. Minifigure number two. Still not very successful either because we've got another Frozone. I do really like this figure, um, but do I need two of them? Not really. I really hope these aren't all doubles. I haven't felt these ones up, so. Hopefully, the ones have been all like, oh, there's another bag, it's better, be another, it's better not be another Elsa. We did it, we didn't get a double. So this is obviously Anna from Frozen, and the likeness of this character is really, really accurate. Probably the probably the most accurate one I, I think of the like Lego head ones. Obviously the moulds, the individual moulds look quite good. Yeah, no, the likeness of this, the face, I think they really, really captured Anna there. So obviously got the, the head on the back as well, the winky face, but yeah, cool. Not all bad after all. 
bag number four. So our final figure is Scrooge McDuck. This is a cool figure. I like the, the sort of glasses there that they've, put, that they've added to the duck mold, which I assume is the same as Donald, but maybe it's not. Um, no, I don't think. No, I think it is a completely different mold, which is cool. The hat's nice. The printing's really good. It's dual molded. Yeah, it's dual molded. And printing on the top. Yeah, cool figure. So thankfully it wasn't a complete disaster. We've got two new figures today in Scrooge McDuck and Anna, so it's not all bad, it's not all bad. I think I am going to go and feel up the other packets and then see if they're gonna be a load of doubles or not. I've still got six of these Series 2 Disney minifigure packs sealed. Um, I've just had a feel for them and it doesn't look good. So I've got a Frozone, so that would be my third Frozone. I've got another Elsa, which would be my third Elsa. I've got another Hades, which would be my third Hades. And then I've got three Dales. Three. So then I'd have four Dales in total. So I'm not going to open these. I think it's kind of pointless. So I'm just going to keep them sealed for now um, and then buy the rest of the other minifigures online. Um, I will get them sealed though, so I can still sort of have the experience of opening them. Um, but yeah, it's just. I'm going to end up spending so much money if I keep buying random bags and stuff. Side note, if anyone wants to buy any of these figures sealed, then just let me know in the comments below. Old friends not forgotten. Let's do this. We finally got an episode that really truly feels like the Clone Wars and it feels like Star Wars. I'm not going to delve into too much detail now because I've decided that I am going to do a full review of this season when it's finished, but... We're heading in the right direction, and I'm really happy about it. Roll on the next three episodes. So I've decided it was so good, I'm going to watch it again. And it's, without a shadow of a doubt, this week's... Star Wars content of the week. Thumbs up for my beautiful singing voice. But I'm going to be a little bit more productive while I watch it this time. Um, I got the Republic frigate that I opened earlier on in the week, um, and I'm just going to wash it. Um, some of the, it's not too bad actually, but some of the parts are a bit dusty. So yeah, I'm gonna stick the stick the Clone Wars on and wash that, and probably the Turbo Tank as well that's in there. So yeah, let's jump into the time lapse. So I've just finished separating the Republic Cruiser. Um, I've washed all the parts, and I'm just gonna leave them to dry on the radiator behind me. I'm not gonna do the Turbo Tank right now because I haven't really got enough room to let pieces dry out and stuff. So yeah, I'll just do one at a time, but that's fine. Um, I've got the Phantom Menace on, so I'm just chilling watching that. But yeah, one job done. It's another Speed Build Sunday, and today we are building the Republic Frigate, set 7964. Um, I bought this used, as you saw earlier on in the video. Um, I've got all the parts have been washed here. I'm gonna sort them out, which I don't normally do, but because there's a lot of pieces all at once, I'm gonna sort them out into color, um, and then build the set. I got a podcast up on there, um, and I might watch Force Awakens after if I'm still building. So yeah, let's jump into the time lapse. That took a lot longer than I needed to and it's still not finished. So there are some missing pieces. Um, I can't remember if it was this one or the turbo tank that said that it was missing some non-major parts, but looking at it, I didn't get the pieces to do the majority of the flap for the cockpit area. Um, also, what was it? The cannon. There's a cannon on the bottom there that's missing. Um, a lot of its pieces. Um, and a couple of other things, a couple of other little things that I should, I should be able to get most of the parts from my collection, hopefully. So I'll do that later on in the week, but it's still a little bit annoying. The other pieces have still got left, so. On the whole, though, it is a really nice ship. Um, I really, really like it. I've got the Republic Cruiser 
um, I can't remember what year that came out. Two thousand and seven, I think. The Republic Cruiser, the red, like the red version of this, and it's my, it's like my favourite set. Um, I wish I had it out on display at the moment, but it's sort of tucked away with all my other stuff. But I cannot wait to get that out and put it next to this one once it's all complete because it, it has been a really nice build. It's been good fun. Um, and I really, really do like it. So once it's all complete, I think I'll be a lot happier. But it's quite late now. I've just finished watching The Force Awakens. And yeah, that's the speed build this week. Wraps up episode 3 of Tech Tuesday. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Give this video a like or a dislike. I'm Thomas. This is Tech Productions. See you next time. Oh, before you go. If you enjoyed this video, how about clicking that subscribe button right here. Catch last week's episode of Tech Tuesday up there. Or if you fancy something different, try this one. See you next time.